The question for you is, how long did you think they would last? <laughs> Not long. I took them off immediately. Not immediately. Immediately after my birthday, when I got home, I just took them off. <gasps> you guys. I just found my, my debit card. So that is going to be a big part of today's story. I'm going to sit here and do my makeup with you for the month of August. And, you know, I want to tell you about my birthday yesterday. So that was, that was really cool. I'm really glad that I just found my debit card because I was hoping I didn't have to cancel that. Okay. <laughs> So I'm about to prime my face with this collab. This one is Pep Talk and this one is Chill Pill. I don't know how I forget the names. I use this every day, you know, but I still forget. I manage every day. I like to just mix and just put it all over and just rub it in because primer really does save the day. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Primer really is a game changer. You ask yourself, should I prime my face? Yes, you should. It makes my makeup feel and look better, so much better. What primer should you use? I don't know. I think any primer probably works. I really like the Honey Do Me Up, but it's quite expensive, so I haven't re got, I haven't got that one yet. You know, since I ran out, it's not completely out yet, but I use it on special occasions. You know, this unfortunately is not a special occasion. Yesterday was. So let me tell you a little bit about yesterday. While I do, I'm going to be using the Alien palette, just so you guys know. Yesterday was kind of eventful, if I say so myself. I'm not even gonna lie to you when I say that I had a panic attack, and it's probably for the stupidest reason you can think of. Can you think of it? Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I didn't get a good enough hint. Anyways, when I woke up in the morning, I woke up, obviously, and I went to the grocery store because my mom and I had plans to go get breakfast and make mimosas and stuff to have with a girl's morning, you know? Well, that didn't end up happening, but let me tell you why. <laughs> so, listen listen, listen, listen. I went to the grocery store, right? And I was just sitting there looking for a cake because my dog had surgery. Um, my childhood dog, Holly, she had to have emergency surgery. And long story short, she's okay, but it's like a touch and go. She's going it back in tomorrow morning because she's got an infection and that's But, but, listen, Holly's okay. So that's, that's all that we need to hear. Holly's gonna do good. She's gonna be better. And so that's all that matters. So you know what I mean? So my baby girl is gonna be okay. Anyway, my mom's been busy because Holly has obviously been, you know, sick. Um, she's had to take care of Holly like she's a newborn baby and I really am so grateful that my mom's had the time to do that because my mom has been very, very busy lately. She's been taking on law school, which is so awesome, you know? Anyways, we're getting off track. Holy crap, this is just like a praise to my mom, but it should be because my mom is, she's that bit. Okay, listen. When I got to the grocery store, got all the stuff I needed, went to the self-checkout line because most of everywhere is just self-checkout places now, and you wouldn't imagine what happened. I was looking frantically for maybe 10 minutes in line for my debit card because it wasn't there. And if you know anything about me, you know I don't carry cash. Why do I carry cash? Why would I do that? Whenever I have cash, I put it in my gas tank and then it's gone from my life because I lose that shit. I am not capable of holding on to cash, okay? That's just something about me, okay? So what ends up happening is I go outside to run and check my car because I think maybe, maybe it could be in my car. Maybe, maybe, you know? No, it wasn't. It wasn't in my car. And in fact, it wasn't in my car, it wasn't in my wallet, it wasn't in my purse, and I was just freaking out because all I wanted was to sit there and have mimosas for breakfast with my mom. But I called my mom and I was like screaming, crying, throwing up, just like, mom, I just kind of want to go home and go to sleep. You know, I was upset. And she was like, listen, it's going to be okay. Just come over here and hang out with me and go pick up our breakfast and we're just going to hang out and have a good time. I was like, okay. So I went, got our breakfast, and I went over to my mom's house, which was awesome. I literally was there all day. Obviously, I went home between times and like let my dogs out and stuff but I was at my mom's house the whole day which was kind of amazing it's kind of awesome I haven't seen my mom in a long time and I love hanging out with her so it was really nice to have like my first experience with alcohol I didn't get drunk at all but they let me taste a lot of things like I you guys don't 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 
no, no, don't, don't think it. But I like white clones, okay? I think they're nice. I had a blackberry one and it was really, really pleasant. But you will never catch me drinking a sparkling water in my life. A white claw, on the other hand, I, I can handle that. It was pretty good. So whenever my mom and I were eating breakfast, we ended up having sake, which was really, really nice. She let me try her sake, which is a type of alcohol, I believe. I don't know what kind exactly, but it is like, it's delicious. That's what it is. It's like very light and kind of like it's got a little bit of a burn but it doesn't it's very it's it's unique i love it i love it a lot i think i'll definitely buy myself some sake that was very very fun and we were sitting there playing yahtzee for a little bit because my mom and i ended up playing yahtzee the, that morning like at midnight i went over to my mom's house and we hung out for a little bit and i was playing yahtzee with her i ended up beating her three to one so that was pretty amazing okay you know that doesn't happen for me or her she usually wins yahtzee every time that was obviously nice I liked hanging out with my mom a lot. I haven't actually seen her that much recently because she, like I said, she's been in law school, so she's been busy with all of that. So it was really, really nice to have the time to be able to hang out with my mom. I was off from work and she working from home right now because she's taking care of Holly. So it's really, really awesome that her job is like awesome and understanding. Thank you guys, so awesome. I am wiping my stuff onto my bonnet right now, if you saw that, so. I didn't wanna get called out later in the comments. And I have no idea what's going on with this look. If you're wondering, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if this is gonna look good, but I'm trying it out. I mean, it looks like something. I don't know if it looks good. No, maybe it'll look better if I put more, you know? Can it be saved is the question. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out myself. I think it's safe to say I need to start over. So I'll be right back. So I figured out a way to keep what I already had. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side, which is very exciting for me because I do not want to have to restart. That made me very upset to be honest, but you know, whatever. So we're playing Yahtzee for a little while and um, eventually my stepdad came home, like time passed, you know, my stepdad came home and I was like, huh? that's awesome because my stepdad was at drill and I didn't expect him to be home this weekend, but he was. And so it made me feel awesome that he was there and he could spend my birthday with me, you know, because I never ever get to see everybody whenever I'm there. He's usually gone or the kids are gone or the kids are my step siblings. They go to their mom sometimes, but he came home and joined us in Yahtzee, which was pretty fun. He said no at first, and then he joined. So I was confused. I didn't expect him to play with us, but he totally did. That just makes me happy too, because you know, he didn't want to play with us, but he did because I wanted him to play, which is really, really sweet. And I appreciate that. So my stepdad was making sure that he was home from 1.30 to 5.30 because we were supposed to have an oven delivered because the oven that we have, didn't, it didn't work. It was kind of a piece of shit. So we got a new oven. I say we like I got it, but it's their oven. And I will just be partaking in the food that gets cooked cooked out of it, you know? So that's what I mean by we. So I was there, you know, all freaking day. I think around four o'clock I left because I wanted to go let my dogs out and I wanted to just kind of hang out with them for a little bit. I knew that they were gonna be in the cage all day. So I wanted them to have some time out, you know? So as I mentioned, I was there all day. So I ended up going home and I came back to my parents' house around like 5, 5.30. And when I got back, the kids were there. By the kids, like I said, that's my step siblings. And it was really, really cool because I didn't expect them to be home either because they weren't home, you know, when I was there. So it was nice to be able to see everybody. Yeah, I like seeing everybody. My stepdad had went grocery shopping and he ended up getting groceries to grill out and he got some white claws and some mango beer so i got to try out white claws which surprisingly i am a fan of and i think they are delicious and the mango beer was not too bad either so i'm kind of excited to dabble into this world of alcohol but like at a distance so i don't like uh, i just don't want to be that person you know that's like always drunk but i think it'll be fun every now and then can you see all the fuzz from this toilet paper? Hopefully not. So as I mentioned, the kids were there whenever I got there, whenever it was like 5.30 or so. And that means that there was no playing video games, okay? We were hanging out, we were hanging out. So I made everybody come downstairs, hop off of their computers, you know what I mean? And we were playing phase 10. We played phase 10 for so long and it was awesome. We had two or three rounds, and then by the time that we were done playing, dinner was ready. So that was really, really fun. I'm gonna focus on this because this is kind of important, but I'm also gonna keep telling my story. So for dinner, my stepdad made us some pork chops and some hamburgers and some sausage. He also made some broccoli, mac and cheese, beans. He made a lot of stuff. Hmm. My mom ate vegan hot dogs, of course. 
because she is vegan in case you didn't know and i don't think i've ever said that before so like yes shout out to my mama she's doing it for me not me but i was a vegan and now she well okay let me shut the fuck up she's always been vegan she tried to get me to do it and she influenced me to do it and I was doing it and then I stopped. So you can hate me if you want. So after dinner, we ate cake and that was pretty cool because it was just a simple little, you know, chocolate cake, but I loved, I loved it. And hopefully you will see my wish come true. That cake was delicious, okay? Let me not even front. It was so good. I don't give a fuck that it was store-bought. You know what? We've been busy. My Holly who, she's still alive. She's still kicking and that's all that matters to me. Whew. Man, it has been a scare. Like today, I was over at my mom's house and I was just there because she told me that she wanted me to be there with Holly because she was gonna go into work today. And no, whenever I got there, I noticed that Holly's stitches were coming undone and then she was kind of like, trigger warning for anybody who doesn't wanna hear this, you can skip, okay? But she was like oozing out of her stitches and I was freaking out because it was like the infection, like blood mixed with pus and it scared me. But we're gonna take her to the vet tomorrow morning. We have an appointment for her. So we're gonna make sure that she's okay. Hopefully they can give her a stronger antibiotic because whatever it is, it's not working. I think the last time she got an antibiotic shot. So hopefully she needs something a little bit like better. I don't know. Whatever it is, like I said, it didn't work because my baby is infected and we've been keeping her super clean. We've been keeping a great watch on her. My mom is doing a great job. So I don't know how, what, why this happened. I know it probably can just happen, but we need to, she needs to not be infected. You know what I mean? She just had a serious surgery. She had to get a few pieces of her intestines taken out because she got into the trash and oh man, it's just a little scary moment. You know, it's just a little scary moment and I need it to be over. I need my Holly Who to be better again. If you know me from back in my old videos, you will remember Holly. She's my Yorkie. And uh, yeah, no, when my mom told me that, she told me that Holly had to go get surgery and she didn't tell me how bad it was or how crazy it was. The vet tried to put her to sleep during the surgery because it got pretty intense, but we didn't let that happen because that's my baby girl and she's a fighter and she's strong and she's young and I'm not about to we'll fight as far as, as much as we can to keep her kicking you know what I mean that's my baby girl but yeah I can't believe that they tried to put her down I'm kind of nervous to go to the vet's office because I will smack a bitch if they try to tell me they need to put my dog down I will be like no I'll go somewhere else thank you for your idea but you're wrong like no 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 but like I said she did go through with the surgery everything is okay she just has a little infection so hopefully she can just get some antibiotics and be okay so i did end up opening some presents um after cake and oh my goodness you guys you're gonna see a change in my content soon um not from like what i make but like the way i make it and things of that nature i got an ipad an ipad pro and i'm so so excited i've wanted one of these for years literally in my notes on my phone i wrote it in 2018 that i wanted to get an ipad and i finally have one so four years later here we are baby here we are and that honestly wouldn't have happened without my mom she's literally the best she's the best at finding deals and she's just the best all around she will she knows how to make something special for me and do it at like a way that she can afford if that makes sense like my mom is very good at like i don't know she's just she makes my birthdays always so special and i appreciate her so much she always has ever since i was little that's why i have this whole idea that my birth month is my birth month because my mom always treated it as such for me and my brother and i think that's so sweet that makes us like i don't know it's like you know instead of making one day that's your special day you get a whole month to pick out whatever food you want to eat whatever you want to do if you want to go do something after school let's go do it you know what i mean like that's how my mom treated us and i i love that i feel like this look is like not doing me justice for like how i do makeup i don't know i feel like it doesn't look like that am i am i lying does it look good i don't know i can't tell i think it looks like shit but you know what it could look good who cares who cares it could look good it could look bad either way i'm gonna be a baddie so yeah I got a freaking iPad, you guys, and I'm so excited. I've been drawing on it. I have some ideas for things, and I'm definitely going to make them come to life. So, you guys, best believe. You just best believe. Shit's about to get real. It's about to happen. And, oh my god, 
guys it's so exciting i'm so excited you guys i don't know if you can tell but the audio is better because my mom got me a microphone because she always has been my number one supporter in this it's just so crazy my mom is just literally the best and that's why this video is kind of like a big shout out to her because i love my mom <laughs> i've had the crappiest few years the crappiest few months lately and today really was an eye opener yesterday as well i've been spending time with my mom and it was just really crazy like that's that's what i've been missing out on is i moved away from home and i just stopped talking to my mom i stopped hanging out with my mom and it wasn't like intentionally or anything like that we just got busy we both did and i need to make that the effort even if she's busy i still want to hang out with her all the time because holy crap my mom really does change my mood she really makes me feel like happy and at home and peaceful and i'm like i don't get it all in my head when i'm with my mom it's awesome <sighs> eyeliner time i know i got all quiet it's because i was trying to focus on that you know it gets intense when you're doing your eyeliner and you can't really talk and if you can you're a freaking pro man you're a pro not i not i i really have to focus it's mainly because this eyeliner is like crusty and dusty and old as fuck but i made do with what i got because i'm that bitch and i know that there's a mess up line but it's okay there ain't no fucking way there ain't no fucking way hopefully that doesn't look terrible because we're gonna keep going okay i'm gonna do these off i'm gonna do these off camera i can't do this oh my god do you see this shit oh my god now i could just be overreacting but i feel like this looks like crap so i'm gonna hurry up and glue some lashes on to try to cover up this mess and yeah we're gonna call it there so you're gonna watch me do that and also i think i'm gonna try to think about anything that i didn't get to tell you i don't think i touched on everything <laughs> of this story is really just like uh, uh. the moral of this is that i was really down in the dumps because i really thought that i was gonna have a bad birthday because of everything that has happened lately a lot in my life has changed over the past few months and with holly just having to have emergency surgery two days before my birthday i was like great yeah this is definitely gonna be definitely gonna be one for the books you know what i mean this is gonna be a great birthday i was so excited if you could tell but i was being sarcastic oh my fuck i think that's on there but like i don't know and i don't really care so we're gonna do the other one yeah they're pretty thin so like i don't know if you could tell that they're even on but they're on there and i didn't do my own eyelashes so by the way for anybody who's well nobody's probably still watching this but if you are what's up and if you appreciate this advice i appreciate you for being here if you can't do your lashes here's the trick don't do mascara bam your lashes bam beautiful you're gonna be like what do you mean don't do, don't do mascara simple as that don't do mascara i mean shoot you're already gluing eyelashes on to your eyelashes why would you put on mascara i don't really i don't apply my eyelashes like that i just really don't have the patience or the time or the energy for them today so that will be them and i don't care about it so this is going to be my finished result for my august 2022 get ready with me or my birthday get ready with me where i talk to you about my birthday however you want to think about this that's what this was i appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching this and listening to me talk about yesterday because it really opened my eyes and i'm so motivated to just create 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 so you guys stay tuned for more i'm sorry that this video wasn't the best quality but i promise you tomorrow's is gonna be awesome okay thank you guys for watching stay around don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun and you guys have a great day